Blizzard just released a new video on their Diablo YouTube channel, the Lunar Awakening trailer, which is an event that's going to start on February 6th and run all the way through February 20th. They also released a news article to go along with that, so we're going to go over that in the next couple minutes to see what this event's all about and what it'll bring. So the two biggest things that are going to benefit most of us are the 50% bonus XP, which is multiplicative, and a 30% increased movement speed. My first unique for this season so far has been the Esso's boots, which give you the movement speed and then an even bigger movement speed when you dash. And this game is just so much more fun when you can move really fast. They also mention a plethora of buffs, all while earning the Ancestor's favor reputation. It sounds like there's going to be a new vendor here where we can trade in some of this favor for different items, probably cosmetic items. It looks like there's also a chance to earn a 10% bonus Glyph XP for the Nightmare Dungeons. Kind of interesting that they only give you a chance. It's There's a chance for an affix to get the bonus instead of just giving you a flat rate 10% Glyph XP. Don't really agree with that. I mean, just give us the 10%. It's 10%. If it was like 100% Glyph XP bonus, then yeah, make it like one of the affixes where it's, okay, you can get this lucky affix, but 10%, man, just give us the damn 10%. There's also some of the shrines are going to be replaced with lunar shrines. Just some of them, not all of them, which I don't really agree with that either. If we're just making this a fun event for two weeks, let's go all out, man. Let's have some fun. Like, let's let's make this every single shrine. And they actually show some of the shrines in the video that they released. So the first one being the combat shrine. I think this is the only one where it, it doesn't, it's not good. Um, or they call it the lethal shrine. So chance to instantly execute a struck monster causing fear on surrounding monsters. This includes elites, but excludes bosses on other players. And we see that in the video where you attack a minion and all the other, all the monsters flee away. Unfortunately for most builds, at least the builds I've played and the one I'm currently playing, which is a firewall meteor build. I don't want that. I don't want monsters to fly away. I'm using my teleport so I can cluster them all into me. And then I want to just spam them with firewall and meteors. So I don't think there's ever been another time where I've actively ignored a shrine, but if I get this special lethal shrine or if I see it out in the open, I might actually avoid this one, which is kind of weird to think about. The next one they show is the blast wave shrine where you can see that each of these explosions summons a cluster bombardment. Good stuff. I mean, more damage. I'm not going to complain about that. And then probably the coolest one we'll run into is the greed shrine. So we see this in the video as well. Chance to summon a treasure goblin. While the shrine is active, 25 kills summons a treasure goblin and 50 summons a second. Now, this is really cool. You can see that the, the little gold portal opening and then the goblin jumps out and you got, probably got to chase him down and all that. This is going to be a really fun one. You see the gold just exploding everywhere. The biggest question I have for this one is why stop at 50? Let's just let this ride out. Let's go. Like just every 25, just keep summoning more goblins, more goblins, more goblins. Like it's just these limitations that make you wonder why, why are they stopping it there? Like let's keep this going. One of the easiest things I think they can import from Diablo 3 is, and I referenced this clip a couple times and my other videos. I'm playing Diablo 3 and I'm in this random little dungeon cavern area and there's just like 10 different colored goblins just in this little corner of the map and I'm just running around with my little monk tempest build and just slaying all these goblins and you're just seeing all these different loot explosions for different materials. This goblin greed shrine would be the perfect time to bring this back in but otherwise than that sounds like cool. It's, it's a buff. I mean the greed shrine is basically the most useless shrine out there right? So it, it's a buff. And then going over some of the other shrines. So my favorite basic shrine is the artillery shrine, where you just have all those arrows just coming out all over the place and just spamming just massive damage everywhere. Uh, that'll have a chance to summon a holy bomb. Don't know what that'll do. The shrine itself, the arrows itself, mostly clean up all the damage, so it'll be interesting to see what that actually does. Channeling shrine increases your attack speed and chance to reset cooldowns, so just instantly resetting cooldowns instead of dramatically reducing the cooldown. Conduit Shrine summoned frequent powerful shocking strikes. Just more damage sounds like. And then the Protection Shrine. You reflect all incoming damage. Damage reflected scales with level and world tier. So instead of just not taking any damage, you're reflecting it to the enemies who are trying to damage you. Additionally, Lunar Awakening themed Whisper Bounties are available throughout the event, making them an excellent to earn favor, blah, blah, blah. Okay. And then at the end, where I'm assuming where most of these dislikes are coming from, like, look at this dislike bar, holy crap, insane, is going to be a way to earn cosmetics, but more importantly, for 
Blizzard, I'm sure, they're going to be releasing some cosmetics that are only for this event. So I know people get really upset about this, and I'm sure that's where a lot of thumbs down are coming. I never understand this argument because you just don't buy it. You just don't spend whatever the cost, if it's $20, $30 for a cosmetic set, you just don't buy it. But all in all, I'm it's, it's new free content. I mean, what... How can you not be happy about that? It's free content. It's an XP boost that's coming next week. So I'll probably finish out my level 81 character this week and then start a brand new one so I can use that boost to level them up quickly. Movement speed boost, new shrines, chance for a glyph. I mentioned some things earlier that I would have changed personally to make it an even better experience. But like I said, at the end of the day, it's free stuff. So that's about it. See if there's another update before the patch comes out. But other than that, I will talk to you soon.